What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode in our world. I am super, super excited today uh, because I want to show you exactly what I've done between the last episode and now. It might not be too crazy if you guys don't notice it, but there's a lot of different pieces that have come together in this, and I think it's looking very, very good. In fact, it's been quite a bit of quite a bit of work off camera, just getting the small things. And I know it's not too obvious with the big, big things not being there, but trust me, a lot of small things have been added, and a lot of small things are doing very, very great wonders to this build over here. So I've gone ahead, I've added in all these little little pieces here, added in some ferns, added in some grass, and it's really, really starting off today like this. Okay. <laughs> It can only get better than falling down holes. Okay, there we go. That's already looking fantastic. Fantastic. I've added some smaller trees over here. Slowly played around with it, and I really like the way we've messed around with the, the, the perspective of where you're looking down here, because I honestly thought this mountain was going to look a lot bigger, and then when I put the one tree on it, I realized just how big the mountain really is, and obviously putting in these very big trees here just help make that look a bit further away than what it actually is, which is really, really cool. Something I've never really messed around with too much. I've done it with a few builds, but not too, too much, and the mound's definitely a good thing to be messing around with. But, of course, today I've got some got, got some projects to do here. The first one is, and this is this is one that I've been asked so many times, is to build a blacksmith. And I was thinking, you know, I've got a few things I can build. I want to build a, a building over here that's right in this spot here. I was thinking maybe a, a pub or something like that, but I thought, you know, we're building an inn over there. I might go ahead and leave this for a little bit before we add in the pub. It might go here, might not even go here. But I want to add in something here. But the other thing I want to add, add in is a blacksmith. And as I say, I, I've got it requested so many times in this series. And I'm going to add one eventually. Everyone's requesting one for the other village. But there's really no need for that other village to have one. So what I was thinking of doing was building one in here. And I know it sounds kind of weird, but underground over here. And as, as I always say, you know, just trust me. This is going to turn out way better than what you originally think. And I think it's going to only do some, uh, some good to this place. So the reason I'm building the blacksmith under underneath this whole thing is I want to build a lot of different details and stuff in there. And of course, having a little building on the outside won't allow us to add too, too much detail. The other thing is I don't really think it's necessary to have one up the top there when I've got some really cool ideas for this one under here. So first of all, I want this to go down a little bit. Not too far down, but just a little bit down. Then that's so annoying. Look at that. It takes forever to, <laughs> to cut grass down. I didn't even realize that. That's right. Efficiency three. As I say, I still stand by it. Much better than an efficiency four, efficiency 4 shovel. Way too crazy with efficiency 4. So the plan for this thing is, I want to add in a few of the things you would normally have. But this is going to be very different to probably any blacksmith. I'm hoping any blacksmith you guys have seen before. So it's going to be a different sort of concept behind it. I'm going to be doing a lot of things my own way. And I think that's going to turn out really, really well. So first of all... I want to get in a chimney to this place, and I know it sounds kind of boring and average, but trust me, this thing's not going to be boring and average, and I think it's going to work really, really, really well if it turns out anywhere near as what I think it will. So that is one thing I want to do here. I want to do a bunch of smaller details as well. That's just one thing that I thought would be a really cool addition. Uh, of course, I also want to have a smeltery in here. I want to have a anvil system going on, and all of that's going to be done today. Are we going to finish it all today? Of course, of course. We've. Uh, I don't think we've actually carried many builds through across multiple episodes. So that's the area we're going to go for. What I need to do now is just uh, brick up the walls and make it look a little bit nicer. And then we can go ahead and start the planning part of this because planning is super important and we cannot avoid that. So I'm going to go ahead and get that going and I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So for today, I want to take you through as many of the steps in a build that I do as possible. I will get to this right now. I just want to quickly do something before I forget, because I know I'm going to forget to do this, and I did agree to do it, because I, I asked if I, you guys wanted me to put something in here, and it seems overwhelming that many people did want me to put something in there. That is great that that doesn't stick over there, by the way. Uh, so what I was thinking is to put in a little bit of a bucket here, of course, and maybe... I, I don't want it to be all the way in. I want it to be suspended midway through. This is going to be a tricky jump, is it not? Okay. Uh, can I get there? No. Aha, got one of them. That's all I needed. And then I was going to do that. I hope that works. All right. If not, we can change it around. We got we got other options. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'll get rid of that. That could be just... I think this will work if it goes down another one, maybe. Just because I think those legs are what's making it look a little bit funny. But maybe if we don't come up directly, directly onto those legs. There. Two more. Okay. And, of course, the cool thing about the cauldron is going to be that we get to put water in it. Okay, perfect. Got it. So go down here. Look down. We can see that. We're going to put water in it. That's going to make it look very good. 
and I think that's going to work. I hope that's going to work. We'll, we'll, we'll try it out. It's worth a try. We'll come back to it at a later stage. So I'm going to, as I say, take you through as many of the stages of of my build as possible because of course people want to know what's going on how do i build things what what do i think about when i'm building and we're going to go through a few a few steps i take more or less i mean i don't i don't nothing in the way i do things is ever the same take it that way i never do anything in like a completely logical way <laughs> a lot of the time there's a bit of logic behind a bit of illogic and i think that's what creates these cool looking natural looking builds and natural looking structures that we we we've become lovers of i think it's uh i think it's a way to way to say it it's it's nothing like there's nothing that i do every single time but i try to i try to learn about things that always work but you never never have anything that always always works so here we go this is my planning my planning stage which is getting this area sort of planned out which will, which is like it's still still got time to change so I've dug out this area here, and my my thing with this build is it's not a very normal shape. It's a bit of an inorganic shape, and I like that. An organic shape. My apologies. My, my apologies. So going down here, we're going into what's going to look like a bit of hollowed out cave. And I'm going to eventually pull this over here. This is just a bit of rough planning. Uh, but we're going to pull this across here to the top as if it's a, a, a big cavern. This over here is going to be where we have our flames, our, our coals. To heat up the heat up the the metal, make the so that, well basically the the blacksmith gets to to heat stuff up. That's pretty much the thing. That's what's going to be here. We're going to be doing that, and this is where the chimney is going to go. So I'm going to knock out a thing there, and we're going to build a chimney, which I I'm hoping is actually going to be kind of interesting. I, I want this to be a pretty cool looking chimney. Take it that way. And then over here, I've built this pillar in here, and this is just to break things up a bit. And same as this, I've actually pulled this out here so that we walk in and we don't see a big empty room. We walk in, it kind of feels cozy here. I might even pull this wall in a little bit more and a bit more cozy. And we go down a level. And this is where it kind of makes the build a little bit more interesting. Because we've got two different levels. And I can separate things. It makes it look a little bit more interesting. That's pretty much the real reason why I, I'm adding in these levels. Over here is a little bit of planning again. For the future smeltery. Or furnace. Well, I mean. What, what would a giant one be called? Is that a, a forge? A forge. That'll be it. Where we're going to have a bunch of liquid lava. Being like a, a fake liquid. Being the liquid iron or whatever it is. Pouring down, and we're actually going to connect a little bit of redstone to that as well, just to make it look like it turns on and off. I think that could be really, really cool. And then, of course, here is just me breaking in the wall, pulling in the wall a bit, and making this area look a little bit more interesting. So that's the plan. That's the plan of a very basic layout of it. And, of course, now what I've got to do is I've just got to go and plan this out with, the, well, fill this up with all the planned things over here. Coming down here, you can see I've gone ahead and done a few little things. Made the roof flat, and this roof's not going to stay flat. I've just done that there, so it's a bit easier for us to work with. What I want to get going on now is a bit of the thought behind this cave. You know, it's just a boring-looking cave, nothing too exciting. And what I want to do is I want to get the lava going in here for what I actually called... What did I call it before? I called this the... not smeltery, the... Uh, how can I not remember what I called it? It was literally a few minutes ago. <laughs> Uh, but turns out this is definitely, ah, oh, forge, that was right, the forge. And really, what a forge should be, is the thing that we're building here, that's a forge. This is more of a smeltery here, where the lava, which is going to be iron, is pouring down out from this area here. So, let's go ahead and put this in. We've got the, the lava we'll put in there, actually. I'll put in this, can I just get the right one? There we go, perfect. The lava will come in here, and it's going to flow down into this area here, and I want there to be sort of a, a piece over here to make it look like it's getting poured into an ingot. And I was thinking something like this could be cool. Like there. Maybe we could do something like that. No. We can't, apparently. That's not a problem. Okay, and... There. Wonderful. So, something along these lines here. There as well. Get rid of that. Get that. Good. Right. So, let's test this out. I think it's going to flow over there. I don't think it's going to come out that way there. Just flowing down, drop one. As a matter of fact, I don't like this the way it's going there, and I know exactly what I need to do to fix it. I need to grab this lever out, and I need to get rid of this block over here. Now it should pour down straight, and that should look a lot better. So we do that there. I almost feel like we could take another block out. Yeah, let's take one more block out and try this out. It's just, it's just a bit of playing around with this. Then the other thing that I want to do is actually I'll do this and do one of these. Have this near us. That's actually going to be very useful. And it's, besides, I like to keep one in a build 
at all times. Even when we're done, I like to keep a few things in there. So we don't need that. We can go ahead and make some of these here. I think this, yeah, that's not a thing. That's the thing. These here, and I'm thinking we can maybe edge it off with this because I was hoping to get, I mean, <laughs> I, I'm sure I'm not the only one who is. Uh, who else is hoping to get some more slabs and stairs that aren't flammable? But I mean, hey, can't get everything. There we go. That is what we're looking at. That is what we're looking for right there. I'll get rid of that over there Good All right, so what I was saying is this is what I'm looking to do I wanted to put some slabs and stairs to give this a bit of shape and obviously the issue is 90% of the slabs and stairs in this game are flammable and I'm not going to be using any quartz I mean, that's that's for certain obvious reasons. It just doesn't make sense to use quartz in here So uh, I was about to say red nether brick nether brick is obviously the most obvious choice for a slab or stair that doesn't burn. And I think we could get it to work as long as we keep this area somewhat dark because I'm not a big fan of nether, rack, um, nether brick, sorry. And the reason for it is I don't really like the color. I think the purple looks a little bit, a little bit odd. But you know what? I'm down to give it a try. I'm down to try new things. And in fact, this whole world has pretty much been me trying new things in the world that I'm not actually 100% comfortable with. So here's another, here's another one. And I think I'll just do this here. That'll be alright. That's that's looking alright. It's just a, a few small things there. Small changes. We do a little by a little. And then I guess we could do something over here. We need something over here. We need some reason. Maybe actually, you know what I think will be better? Is if I bring this out a little bit further here. Because from, from memory, take it this way. I'm building this all from things I've seen in the past. And from memory... Oh, that's actually a cool little thing there. Yeah, that's better. Uh, they they have a, a fairly long run down before they get pulled off. That is good That is what we're looking for over there And I'm thinking I'm also going to probably put a little bit of a casting thing over here, which will be a Cauldron again two cauldrons one episode. I've never never used that many cauldrons I don't think it's uh one of the few blocks. I feel are so underused like in terms of reasoning Behind it in Minecraft. I mean, what is the true reason for a cauldron? What is it? I just use them for decorating. I don't know why else we would we would need them. So there we go. That's cauldron done. That's this furnace done. So this is probably going to be the simplest thing we're building today. The next thing I want to do is this over here. The smelt. Dang it. The forge. <laughs> the forge over here. And uh, this is going to be a bit more complex. I'm going to I'm going to make a bit of a design on these sides here. And then we're going to do the chimney. And the other thing is that I like this is actually something I think which is going to make this build look really really good. Is coming down here. We've got this pillar. And I've moved the pillar a little bit from the last clip, if you guys haven't noticed. And it's right over here, and I think this will look really cool. So just split it up a bit, and have an interesting looking shape here, which will eventually merge into the roof. And what I'm planning on doing here is using something similar to what we did in the inn, which I showed you guys in the last episode. And that is that is doing a little design on the, on the pillar, on the supports of the pillar. So we'll take those, we'll take those, and we'll just go ahead, in fact, you know what? I think I'm going to stick with the overall color of this build and I'm going to use those and those dark oak and the dark oak stairs and slabs. There we go. Cool. So that'll that'll work off of this, I would hope. There and yeah, and I'm just going to I'm just going to wing it. Just see what we come up with. If we come up with something cool, that's that's awesome. Get I uh, can't get those off. That is awesome. If not, you know what? We're learning something. We learn something every time. So there. Thank you. Okay, maybe not thanks. I didn't even get that thing. All right, so something like that. Yeah, I reckon that could work. We do something like that, then we do another one in over here, and something like that. That'll work. And then we do the same thing again here. One of those, one of these, and I think it was what was it that there and a lot of re repetition in this, but it's all it's all naturally the, the way it goes. There we go, and one more. I keep I keep going to the wrong blocks because I've got this- my whole inventory is not the way I normally use it. What have I done wrong here? I've done something wrong here. Alright, let me just put that up there. No, that's right. That's right. That's what we do. Cool. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this. I'll do this here. And maybe at the top here, we might just do something like that. Or oh, one more. Yeah, I'll, I'll have to do something with that there, but I'll go ahead and put this in and then I'll do the roof as well That's looking a little bit too flat for me there. Maybe Nah, we need we need it there. We need it there. It's, this is this is pretty much it. 
I started messing about with this a little bit, and I think I've got a better option over here now. So let's take a step back. And look at that there. That's good. It's not taking up too much of the hall. Before it was just taking all of this up, and it was just not looking too good. That's looking a lot better. And now what we can do is we can go ahead and add in... I'm thinking actually probably oak will be good to add in here. Like this damn piece of dirt. Let's get rid of that. Keeps taking up... <laughs> Wasting spots in my inventory. There we go. There we go. Looking good. Looking very, very good. So my next plan is, of course, breaking up this build a little bit more because that's that's the trick to these sorts of ones I've found is just making sure you are breaking it up, making sure that nothing is getting monotonous and tedious throughout the build. And of course, that, that requires you to think about it as you keep going. So as I'm going, I'm adding more things in as I see fit. So there and there. All right. Adding this part in here now. I went one block off, this is the side. Right, perfect. So this that's what I'm going to do there. I'm going to add that in there, and that will break the room up a little bit more and make this also work a little bit better. Now, of course, what I want to do is this piece in here, and I'm going to get rid of it. I know I'm, I know I'm going to be putting it back again, but there we go. So I want to go ahead and plan this piece out here. Just get the, the shape of it ready, and then I can go ahead and add in some more stuff. And as I say, today, guys, I uh, I want you guys to at least see how I build things. Because a lot of people, I think, feel that when I build something, I've built it, and that's just come out that way. And it's, it's really never the case. Very very rarely the case that I, I build something, and it straight away comes up looking good, and I'm happy with it, ready to move on to another build. I'm always doing something, and then fixing another thing, and then doing another thing, and then fixing the thing that I thought was fixed already. That's just the way it goes. And that's that's the way I build. I, I don't like to do too much stuff where I've got one way of doing it planned out, as I say, and then I end up having to stick with my plan no matter what. I think it's always good to, to be fluid in your plans. Be ready to change them if you have to. And, I mean, this build's already changed. <laughs> in saying that, so many, so many times it's what I expected it to be. And do I want this to be... Or maybe I'll do this. Maybe I'll try this out. So, there. And then we'll do something like this. Yeah. Good. All right. And then, of course, this is a big, ugly, open area, and we're going to have to do something about that. So that'll be another thing that I'm going to have to think about. There. There. And that's good. That's good. All right. So coming up here, you'll step up, and that will be there. Then I guess the next stage will be adding in... I was going to say nether brick fence, but we could get away with a bit of this over here. Just because. Yeah. Just because. Perfect. All right. Wonderful. So doing this to be a little bit of a shield... And also to, I guess, tie into the build of it as well, which is Dark Oak themed in, in many ways. There, there, and... That'll work. <laughs> when in doubt, just put another block down. I guess that was lucky the way it turned out. So that also does not quite match up with that. Hmm, okay. Yeah, I'll have to, I'll have to do it this way here. I thought it would fit quite well there, but there, there again, I'll, I'll have to just play around with some things. Let's take some damage. Wonderful. And do this here. Perfect. All right, so for this week as well, by the way, guys, I'm planning on doing another tutorial. So many people have asked for a tips tutorial, and I think we'll do something along the lines of a tips tutorial because, of course, of course, that's a, a good way to learn. Just tips and obviously just watching watching builds, picking apart builds and, and seeing what, what makes it work, what makes a build work. And look at that. That's, that's already looking all right, I think. All right, look at that. Walk down. It's got a little bit of a shake to it because of this over here. Look at that. That over there is actually helping us out get this sort of rounded feel to it. I think. I think. And uh, maybe we'll get rid of that for now. There we go. All right. So now the next thing that I want to do is plan out this chimney. And this is the interesting bit. Okay. <laughs> okay. That piece of dirt... You know what? I've actually got something. I've got a place for that piece of dirt. Let me let me pick up this piece of dirt. All right, I've got a, I've got a special place for this piece of dirt. Now that that's over with, we can go back to this. The furnace is over here. Perfect. So if we go up, I'm thinking I want to have a hole coming out of here. And I know this sounds very weird, <laughs> and it's it's probably not what you guys would have expected from this area here. But I feel like it could actually be a very cool thing. So I'm gonna go up a bit. Let's just. Let's pillar up with these here. And we will get also a shape going. So do something there, there, and there. Okay, cool. So I don't I don't know how high I want to go up with this thing, and I don't want it to be too, too tall. Uh, but what we're going to do now is we're just going to build up this, and then we're going to shape it from the outside, because that's the way I like to do things. 
And I think it'll work quite well. So there we go. Do that. And then I'm going to build it into here. So I'm going to build a little piece over here. Spout out that way. And I'm also going to do a little bit of a roof to make sure it doesn't snow on inside there. Although I'm pretty sure snow won't be able to fall on the magma. I think it'll look kind of cool with its own roof. I don't know why. I think that'll be a very cool thing to have. So as I say, I'll get going on this. I'll shape it out and I'll be back with a bit of that. And then we can also go ahead and add in all the other little things around here. So what I've just done is I've messed around here a little, little bit, and I've gone ahead and got this chimney going. Look at the particles coming out there. I'm loving it. Loving the particles. I've actually, I've never really messed around with them too much until the series, and I think it's looking really good. Just like this chimney over here, the one that we had before with a little bit of smoke coming out the top. Really, really good, I think. So going down here, this is what it, fin it finished up with. Nothing too much different to what we would have left it on. Uh, one thing I do want here, though, is a bit more light coming through the magma. So if we do that there, and use our very last torch, uh, that should be good. There, and... There we go, that's a bit more light coming out of there, I like that, I like that a lot. Uh, another thing that I've done is I've gone ahead and added in a little coal storage facility there. So the coal that's needed to build all these, to run all these things, is left on that side over there, and I like that a lot. And then the next thing that I was thinking of doing, which is actually kind of a strange thing, and... Where are they? There we go is adding in a bit of diorite, and I know it sounds kind of weird, but this is actually diorite, not actually for the sides of the cave, not actually for the, the things, but the sides of the cave, I gave it away. Uh, surely I've got some diorite on here. There's diorite everywhere, whenever I need diorite, and there, there really is no diorite. There really is no diorite. Alright, so I'm gonna have to try the diorite thing a bit later. Well, what I want to do now then, I guess, is add in this stuff over here, and I'll need some of these there. Those there, and those there. Simple, easy, always a winnable design that I'm about to go with. And we'll do that there. Good. That that actually looks kind of weird. <laughs> Seeing like mutton or something in the, in the crafting table. But look at that, look at that. Just by the way, take a look at that. As you're walking past there, imagine this. Just imagine walking around this village and you see stuff like that. Man, that looks good. Just catching out the corner of your eye, you know, just as you're walking past. A bit of life in here. L little bits and pieces adding into this whole thing, giving it all a bit of life. I love it. Love it a lot. Alright, so there, there, and... I think that might be too tall. There. Good. So do these, do that there, and... Yeah, that looks good. That looks good. The, the big thing that's going to change a lot of stuff in this world is going to be adding in the mob switch that we we spoke about. So basically making sure that mobs can't spawn here. That is looking really, really awesome. That is looking really great. I think we've just got a few polishing off things to do here, and this could be fairly close to complete. Of course, we need the trusty anvil. Let's do one of those right now. I hope I've got the iron for it. Oh, man. Am I going to have to go on a mining session right now? No. Perfect. Perfect. We've got just enough to get one anvil in here. Which is all we really need. I mean, what what would what would a single blacksmith be doing with multiple anvils? I do not know. I do not know. There we go. Perfect. So now it's just a bit of the polishing off stuff, a bit of texturing, a bit of lighting, a bit of adding in like little odds odds and ends in this build. And I'm thinking maybe a few storage crates, a few chests, a few things like that. And this is looking pretty complete, I think. And also another thing that I do want to add in is get rid of a bit of this, a bit of the stone, the the grayness of the stone, and that's why I was thinking maybe diorite, or even, you know what, granite might do the trick here. And I'm crazy for it. They said it couldn't be done. And look at that, I think I found a use for diorite here, guys. Just patching in these little pieces of the wall here. I've actually used this in my last one, and I thought it looked pretty good. Uh, I've messed around with it a little bit, and I think that looks really good. It's just a block to sit behind the rest of them. And look at that, it just makes it look not as gray. And I want to try it over here again as well. This is a bit larger of an area, and I'm actually going to give it... Let's just give it a go with uh, granite in this small area where we know it works. Just as, a, as for testing purposes. And let's have a look here. You know, I'm actually alright with that. I'm alright with that. I'm, I'm not very upset with the color that that comes out with. So, how does this look at night? Oh, this is actually something you guys haven't seen. Look at this. Look at how beautiful this place looks like when we've got the clouds going down. The sky pack, of course, does it all. I mean, that's <laughs> that's a, a major, major winner of what we've got in this world. But look at that. That's looking really, really nice at night. It's actually just starting to pull together here. Uh, by the way, I've got a quick question. If anyone knows a way to make really cool smoke particles without mo using a uh, 
using a command, of course, but I want to get this smoke in here to be a bit thicker. But the issue is, if I pillar up here, okay, that's a half block. Um, yeah, we're going to start getting mobs very soon, so I best, best do this quickly. I can't remove that block, that block, or any of these blocks around here. The only block I can actually use is this one here for generating particles, and it's a little bit annoying because I want to make a lot of particles come out of there as if the smoke's just bellowing out of that. There we go. Perfect. Oh, okay. Not perfect. All right, I'm going to have to run away from this, but I just thought I'd bring you guys in and show you that you can use diorite, you can use granite, you've just got to be smart about the way you use them, and I think that's the way we're going to have to use them, and unless we can find some more ways of doing it, but I think that's one way that it's definitely going to work very, very well for us. All right, so I think it's about time we call this build... Completed. Look at this. Look at this. Well, I mean by completed. Of course, I don't mean completed, but I mean something so something very very close to it I do expect a lot of mobs to spawn in here But I'm not gonna mess around with the light too much unless it becomes a problem uh, Currently, I feel like the what it's at right now is actually all right So just have a look at a few of the things catch a catch a few glimpses of a few little changes that I've made I've gone ahead and just uh, just added in those pieces there a few there I think this is gonna look very very good by the time. It's all done. Well, the village, of course. But this is definitely adding something on. The one thing I'm not too happy with is this being very plain and empty. I'm guessing maybe a bit of lava could do the trick. But you know what? I, I, I was imagining this as coals. In fact, you know what? We could give this a go. Let's just give this a little bit of a try. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of the way that, that looks there. Maybe along the edges it could work, but... Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not too happy with that there. Okay, it's not. I was gonna say, <laughs> that's actually very dark. But you know what, guys? I think that will do it for today's episode. So I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I hope you guys are ready for another fun-filled week of a building. Probably going to get a lot done in this village. Streams and also a tutorial along the way as well. So as I say, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I hope you guys are excited for this week. And I'll see you in the next one.